technique. Uh, example of this one is uh, uh, monocards, monocards uh, and polypetal. Sorry, uh, monocards. Uh, okay, this is a uh, bi-technique ovule. So, what is that? Integuments. Integument means ovule is protected by a layers. Is called uh, integuments. Okay. So, based on number of integuments, ovules are how many types? Three types. A technique ovule, unitechnic ovule, bitechnic ovule. Unit A technique means integument is absent. Ovule without integument. Example, Santarum and Loranthus. Unitechnic. Uni means single. Tecma means tegment. Ovule having single integument that is Helianthus and Datura. Uh, examples. Another one, bitechnic. Ovule having Two integuments, uh, this is called uh, bitechnic. So, example mono cards. A means absent, uni means single, bi means two integuments. So, this is the integument, this is the integument uh, in integuments. So, integuments are the protective layers of uh, ovule. <coughs> Next, coming to the other one, you see this one. Ovule is covered by a protective layer called integuments. Total ovule is covered by the integuments? No. Except this region. Except this region. Ovule is not covered by a integuments. Here the tip, here the tip having a small opening is there. Have a small opening is there. This opening is known as micropyle. Ovule mottam kuda integuments cover ayo unta vana na. In apical, apical region lo, vaka chinna sugol untundi, pore untundi. Yes, that is called micropyle. So, ovule is not covered by the integuments. Ovule, integuments are not covered by the ovule. Except, I mean, ovules are covered by the integuments. Ovules, sorry. Ovules are covered by the which one? Integuments. Except apical region. Except apical region, here a small opening is there. This is called micropyle. So, very important. Next point: uh, ovule covered by integuments. Integuments except uh, apical region or uh, except. Uh, at the tip, except at the tip having a small opening, having a small opening called micropyle. Micropyle. So, micropyle means ovule actually covered by integuments. But uh, integument is absent. Okay, sir. At the tip, at the tip having which one, sir? Small opening is there, sir. This is the small opening region. This is called micropyle. Micropyle. And other one, sir. After fertilization, micropyle is developing to this is pore, seed pore. We'll be discuss after class, next classes. So this is about uh, micropyle. Once again, I repeat. Ovule is covered by the integument. Integuments are not covered by total ovule except apical opening. Here is here except the tip. Here having a small opening is there. This is called micropyle. Another one. This is the micropyle. Opposite to micropyle. Opposite to micropyle. This is called chavaza. Actually, this is the inverted ovule, not a straight ovule. If a straight ovule is there, chavaza come to this side. Come to this side. So, opposite, opposite to micropyle, opposite to micropyle, which is there, sir? Chalaza is there, chalaza. And uh, very simple, this is the basal part of the ovule, basal part. That is the this is the inverted ovule, not a straight ovule. So, chalaza means opposite portion of micropyle, basal part of ovule. So, no down. Micropyle opposite to micropyle. Opposite to micropyle. Chalaza present. 
Chalaza present. Chalaza. This is micropen. Opposite to micropen, Chalaza. Chalaza is represented as Chalaza represent as basal part of ovule. Basal part of ovule. My question is, which is the basal part of ovule? Which is the basal part of ovule? That is a Chalaza. Chalaza. Which is a Chalaza is the basal part of ovule. Chalaza is the basal part of ovule. Opposite to micropyle. Opposite to micropyle. This is micropyle. Opposite to micropyle. Chalaza is present. Chalaza is also called as basal part of ovule. Basal part of ovule. Basal part of ovule. And the other one is last very important point. You see this one here. Inside this is a tissue is there. Inside this is a, a tissue is there, tissue is there, this tissue is called as a new cellus, not nucleus, new cellus, enclosed within the integuments, these are the integuments, sir. integuments matam cover chest my any, he locked on the tissue, what is the tissue, new cellus, new cellus, so new cellus means, what is that sir, Enclosed within integuments, within integuments, within integuments, enclosed within integuments, the diploid massive tissue, massive means more, diploid means 2n, 2n, enclosed within integuments. Diploid massive tissue, massive tissue is called new cellus, new cellus, this is the new cellus tissue sir, this is, yes, this tissue is covered by integuments sir, that's why, right. enclosed within integuments, enclosed within integuments, which is there sir, diploid massive tissue is there, that tissue is known as new cellus, what is the function of this new cellus? Store food, store reserve, and store food. This is what is the function of new cellus? New cellus store the food material, store the food material, store the food material. Okay, so uh, this is about which one, sir? What is that? What is that? Enclosed within the integument, enclosed within the integument, a diploid massive tissue is called new cellus. New cellus. This is the new cellus tissue surfaces. That tissue is stored the food material. Some ovules having the more new cellus, some having less new cellus. For example, for example, 10 new new cellate. Ovule. 10 new new cellulite ovule means ovule having more, ovule having less new cellus. This is a ovule for example. The ovule having less new cellus. Less new cellus. That ovule is called 10 new new cellulite ovule. 10 new new cellulite ovule. New cellulite means new cellus. Ovule having Less new cellus, so this is called a 10 new new cellate. Another ovule, crassy new cellate. Crassy new cellate ovule. Crassy new cellate ovule means massive, massive new cellus. Massive means more. Ovule contain more new cellus, more new cellus. Ovule contain more new cellus, this is called massive. I mean, ovule contain massive new cellus, means more new cellus is there, that is called crassy new cellate, crassy new cellate. Ovule having less new cellus, that is called tiny new cellate. So, finally, within the integuments, within the integuments, which is there, sir, a diploid massive tissue, they are the news, they are the integuments, sir. Within the integuments, sir, a diploid massive tissue is there, that tissue is known as new cellus. New cellus store the food material. If new cellus is less, that ovule is called a tiny new cellulite ovule. If new cellus has more, means massive, this is called a grassy new cellulite.
This is the structure of which one sir? Mega sporangium or ovule. Mega sporangium or ovule. In a mega sporangium or ovule, how many parts are there? Finicule is there, hilum is there, then raphe is there, then integuments is there, then chalaza is there, then micropyle is there. Sometimes asking the question, what is the chromosome number? What is the ploidy of this ovule? Well, this is a 2n here. You observe chalaza having 2n, integuments 2n, ploidy number. And raphe is also 2n, hilum is also 2n, phenicule is also 2n, but uh, there is no ploidy of uh, micropyle. It is poor than ploidy under. Chalaza 2n, integuments 2n, raphe 2n, hilum 2n, phenicule 2n. These all are the parts. All parts of mobile containing 2n number of chromosomes. So here you observed uh, this is the structure of microsporangium. One part is required that is embryo sac. This will be discussed uh, tomorrow class. I hope you understood this class, Nana. Must be watch, must be watch and write the notes also. If you have any doubts, uh, ask me, ask me by phone call or to uh, send uh, through send me a message to my WhatsApp also. Okay, if you have any doubts. So this is today's our cla class, Nana. Even a doubt sunte, call che ni leda WhatsApp ki message pe na din reply istano. Okay, thank you, Nana. Thank you. We will meet again tomorrow with a new concept uh, that is embryo sac. Thank you.